In this video, I'll show you how to build your own automated Amazon price tracker using NAN, no coding required. You get notified the moment a product's price drops, all running automatically in the background. I'm Lucas and let's jump in. Okay, so this is the, the final result of this workflow. When I, I have actually, for example, this spreadsheet here, these are the ASIN code, which is the, the official Amazon code. Then the yellow columns are the column that you're going to add here that you need to set up. And the green columns, they're going to be filled automatically by the automation. So this second column means that if the price is cheaper than 3% than it was before, it will trigger an email. Or if it's more than 3% than the last price, it will also trigger an email. So it will like fill all this, this columns automatically, as I said. So if you click here, if you go to this link, I just copy and paste it. So you can see, then you have the, the page here. So for example, in this case, I have this price alert. It, it, it is showing that the current price now is this price. The previous price, is, it was that price, and this is the difference. And it's saying the price decreased by 80%. And as you can see, this all these information are in this spreadsheet. And then I have the whole history of every time that this automation is executed, it generates this history here. So now I'm going to show exactly how it works and how you can set up this, okay? In order to download this workflow, you can access this GitHub repository and the link is going to be in the video description, don't worry. So if you click here in workflows, so then we have a folder for each workflow and for this workflow you have like a readme file explaining exactly how to set up and how to do everything here and you have also the the json file here so let's just set up everything here like if it was like the first time i'm going just to create another workflow. I'm going to download it, download raw file. Okay, so now I'm going to, after I create a new work workflow, I'm going to, oops, import from file here. And here we have this file. We need to set up the variables here. You need to copy this spreadsheet here. Okay. You need to make sure that you have a, a Google account. So this URL is for this spreadsheet and this spreadsheet's like only view. It's not only view because I, I'm logging in this account, but if I log it into my another account that I have here, you can see that it's on it's view only. Okay. So in order to make it run without any error, you need to click on file and then you make a copy here and just make a copy and then you're going to have the exactly same file in, in your folder and all you need to do you need to click and share copy link then you go back to the spreadsheet and you replace in this variable with the new link okay and then you need to have like a scrape ops API key. So 
you can access the website of ScrapeOps, um, which is this website, and then you click on Get Free Account if you don't have the account. And it's very straightforward. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. So you can see where you're going to get your API key. I'm going to log in here. Okay, so there it is. This is my API key. And then you just copy this. You go to your workflow and paste paste here. Okay. And this is the email that I'm going to receive. So I have two emails like on purposes for for this kind of scenario. So this is like the email from that is going to send. And this is going to be the email that is going to receive. So I'm just going to do like this. Okay, so yeah, it's it's done, this setup thing. And other th important thing you need to do. You need to click here and you are going to create a new credential here. And you're going to sign in with Google. And you're going to select the account of your Google account. So you're going to, to connect on, on Google here. So yeah, that's it here. And you're going to do the same here. But since you already created uh, for the other ones, you're going just to select the one that you just created. Okay, so you have three three times you need to set up here for your spreadsheets and what else yeah for the send email you need to set up your configurations here I'm going just to show you my case here it's already set up so this is is, a, is my scenario here because I'm using Gmail and this is the host and this is the port so you need to make sure if you use Gmail or, or another email service and you just set up things here okay it, it's it's not difficult and yeah that's it for the setup and another important thing is like the schedule trigger you need to make sure how often you want it to be executed the frequency okay just for testing purposes, I'm going to execute this manually. Okay. So I'm going to delete all the emails here. And I'm going to simulate like a a price change here like let's suppose it was like this price originally it was this price and then I'm just going to execute this workflow so it was executed already and as you can see we received the email and if you go now to the spreadsheet you can see that the price here has been updated the percentage is correctly and the alert status column is correct too. If you click here, you can see the email that we received. If you found this automated Amazon price tracker helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the ScrapeUps channel for more powerful web automation tools like this one. Okay, so thanks for watching.